Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to do is add some UI for user can uh, add in some element. So let guess let's change to the web app and run npm start to uh, run the React application in the development. Okay, so app reload and here is what we have done before. In the last video, we got um, the text the heading and this is p take and display in three columns inside one row and here I'm going to uh, fix some bug we got some uh, in the console we got some builder element and this can be problem equal we didn't add the key when the major the map function let's get back to component element and index file it should be somewhere where the map. Now I'm going to import fragment and inside the loop function. Now I'm going to do add some index and here we should have a fragment and let's go back to inside render element inside fragment. The key is called require exactly in that now all right so aromatic guy and what again we need to let's see in our uh, HTML track we got the builder element so I don't want to build an element it wraps inside I draw for example now I want to add some more row in in reducer we got a page reducer. Now I'm going to do uh, inside a bowers. We got to new row. Row number two, and here we will tie. We go row number two, and ID. Oh, I'm sorry, tie should be uh, should be ID. And here we got tie should be row. And current option it should be container. We go plus and we have a style but no, not for now and this one more thing the column ID column uh, row 2 1 and tarry should be column I want to add some option Equal response C. Uh, so I'm going to add response C by add small should be only. So this means we have all uh, number should be number. So this we have only three item per row. Uh, add small or even so maybe. Okay, so we have a three column. Oh, I think we should have six number six. We mean two two columns per row, and let's again copy. Should be column and comma right column number two. Okay, so let's see. We have a um, number column here. Uh, we got problem E. We do need to parent for two column should be a row two and copy that it should be here now the column should be go to we got the first item first row and second row but now i want to get result build the element in in the render so this can be better so i don't want this I'm going to do is a fragment. Use fragment. Use fragment. And now let's see in our side we got only pay builder and plus. And here same thing. Let's uh, keep uh, clean in our HTML file. And we got two columns inside number second second row. Here I'm going to add some uh, text. For 
Maybe tech. P tech. Two. Uh, we got tolerance with P and option we got a touch equal uh, touch content in column what so we got the parent is that parent should be number column column number two so we do have a two right. okay and copy that for text p text number two and second column text number second column should be exactly same the id now you should see the text content in the column okay it's really cool And even if you want to move the column, this, uh, sorry, I'm sorry, move this draw into inside this column, this is much easy. Um, the first thing I'm going to do in the column, I want to do this by output equals it dot render column element element. First problem, we got a render column element first is called parent. I'm not going to use a parent anymore. So we we'll remove that. And on the render column element in the row, we remove this. And keep third only first argument is a column. Now in the reducer, I want to number row two. This number row number two should be go inside the second column in the first row. So we can do that easy by parent should be exactly number column, first column, second column, and here should be go side. Now you can see the second column should be go a second row and each column content go to the first row and first uh, second column in the first row this, this is unlimited tree rendering in our builder component this can be better for you can use it for your project so let's keep it a spread spread separate in row let's move back and today let's focus on adding some new ui for user can add some row and column okay so now in the index file we got component and okay component render pay element so i think we can dream name this into the builder and this means we can do the builder and should be a builder and rename this file into i'm sorry should be renamed it file ah uh, refactor renamed it into builder and should be changed back to the builder okay let's see in refresh and it work now i'm going to do equal add some folder equal toolbar and in side to bar I'm going to add a new function index dot yes I post default class to bar and we have a user to user react by import react and component from react Alright, so this a tense react component component and render and container prop and super prop is a monthly required. Okay, so we got two bar now inside the builder want to add so for now I'm going to make this my cut is a editing equal to or uh, you can do that by enable edit go to or even i think is the edit name equal to 
So we can do like that if the editing. Now we're going to toolbar and we have to import toolbar from toolbar. And otherwise, return no. Mm -hmm. Like that. Now uh, let's see. Uh, return. Okay. So in the toolbar, I need to do return. So need to. Uh, we do just style it from style component, and we do cut. And we start dip. Okay. Now uh, it should be return. Wrapper. And I'm going to make uh, some take on it. Hello from toolbar. And then now you can see the toolbar. The toolbar takes message from top of the uh, builder. And this, go ahead. We can now let's change the four. Now it's hello toolbar. It's no, you don't see it anymore. Let's change back to. We can use uh, editing variable in next video about when we can set from the redact uh, reducer. We can use and get it from the redact. And here I'm going to do is go the toolbar. Now let's pass the pay equal exactly the pay element. And here we can get the parent element equal no. Because this toolbar from the top to outside of element, so we are not going to implement uh, any uh, parent element here. So toolbar now going to make ur and a list. For example, add row and another list can be add column. And here we wrap it. I'm going to do it goes grab some margin uh, top and bottom equal to any pixel and padding equal zero. And maybe some um, background. Maybe some kind of like that. Uh, let's see. So we have add row and add column right here. I'm not going to do this. I you can do by cause uh, so tempo array of action uh, action item equal should be an array. Now try equal row and we have a title add row and again try. So column title equal arch column. So in here we can do this by user action item dot map. So action item and the index return which have list. So here we got the key the most important if and we are action item dot title so it should be display same thing add row and add color now i'm going to make a function you can call it to by on click it should be an action i'm going to call this to new function by this on as element because this dot on add element as element of spray yes This should be primary function. Do I pass element? The first should be uh, try element try, and second should be the element. 
prepare them. I think you should prepare them. So this render as new element. So on click you call this dot on as element the first equal uh, type should be action item dot type and second should be a uh, element so we do by cost pay uh, parent element you see in builder we got a parent element and page prop so we can assess this in children component is called this dot prop Mm -hmm. Oh my god, so problem. You should be in. Now, should be parent element. And we are not going to pay, so let's remove it. Don't use this. Now, I'm going to make the console log. As new element tie equal element ties and parent e parent element should be parent to the new because no parent. Now I'm going to click on this. Click on this. We should see parent tie color. Should correct the function is working. We need to do is go implement so how we can pass a new function by I'm going to make a new function on chain. This should be a pay and now um, nothing to do nothing and make console lock uh, re receive pay chain from children component a page. Uh, we got the on chain function. You can do uh, name of and if name for example on edit uh, like that. But for me, I I, I can do is on chain. So we got the on chain is a prop at the function type in toolbar. We can do like this. At the bottom, we can do by if dot prop uh, dot on chain. We take the prop if the function name is as this, and then we can call this dot prop dot on j. Uh, do by hello yeah. Oh. Now I'm going to click on row. We should see receive a page children component a hello there. So we can do like it by let's pay equals this dot prop. So we default page parameter from prop. Now I'm going to part exactly paste. Let's see this. Click on this. Click on this. So we see it's page chain. And on clicks element. Now I'm going to implement like this. When the user add new row, we append new item into element array into the page. So we can do by this. Let's paste element equal. Uh, we should load that function page element and give it the default empty arrays. Now we use the load that. I'm going to import load that from load that underscore from load that. We use that. So here we got element type. Now I'm going to switch function element type and we can default. I'm going to do nothing. Break. And in this case, I'm going to do k row is row type right. And now we are going to implement new element. So let's element new element equal so default new. And in this case, I'm going to do that if new element. And then we move this function and we do it by pay element dot put new element and here we do by let's paste pay dot element equal uh, paste element or uh, even you can you can use if you should load that function 
is a load add function you can do that by pay equal set with page and element attribute and should be page element this is load add function I can uh, so you can use it anywhere and so in the draw now I'm going to do if the draw new element element I'm sorry it should be inside k new element equal uh, so ID should be we do need to generate a new ID so I'm going to install a couple uh, new model you know, npm install UUID okay now import this import UUID from UUID v1 I'm using the first version from UUID so let's create a new function auto ID and should be return UUID it will re so then call this sort auto ID and try should be draw and contain and should be option so give it a default option container it go full width and we have a mesh style but uh, not this not this and so I think this can be enough now again add row add row now you can see receive a new pay we got new element it should be IDs automatically generates ID an option but problem is you don't see any new row is a render let's see in the HTML file we have only one two one no it's not not just only one and two it's only two row because you know we call back in the builder on page chain but we do nothing we do need to send it into redact so now I'm going to connect the builder function into the redact so how is implement to, to redact function now I'm going to I think we have only the page um, builder all right so we got the redact is connect to the connect into the page but the builder is not connect to the redact so two idea to to send back to the redact the first idea we are going to implement on the, the I'm sorry on the element index we are going to implement oh no sorry not this component pay where is the builder toolbar inside the builder we are going to make a new function on chain again so we can pass from uh, we can pass this from the builder into parent and second way we can check um, you can the first way to use that and going to make a new uh, on chain function and send back from the builder from toolbar we got this and send back send to parent is a, and here this uh, pay component is actually it's connected to redact and we can go use it but now I'm going to do equal use this into the redact implement the builder connect to redact so how we do that now this couple of thing imports connect from react redact redact and when do import okay so let's take a look at the pay component we got map state and prop h4 default and here we're going to do cost map state to prop equal state 
uh, we got state of the pay uh, builder should be the pay equal uh, now I'm going to do equal get exactly now we got the pay right here I think we got the pay right here pay from the parent and so let's give it to nothing and again cause map this path to prop equal this path and here I'm going to I'm going to do on update okay even with update should be a function so update the parameter page and let's go back to reducer pay it's uh, an id uh, we got the id and for example home pay it should be harvard id that's cool now we need to do update the pay and the pay to return it return Okay, so now I'm going to action on the pay. Now we to export in the time. Now I'm going to do get pay. I'm rename this to up. Yes, pays of this pay. And inside the ins. Uh, Pay action. I'm going to make a new function. I post cut uh, up this page. Page turn this path. So I'm going to call this this path. Press equal up this page. And here we need to do import import update pay from and payloads equal pay so this should be from parameter and we got update pay now it's update pay action now I'm going to get back to builder and we can do it by did pass uh, update pay and the parameter should be pay and update pay we need to import this import update pay from uh, photo action action so we got update pay let's see now it was from paste so let's see again update first now it work okay so we got the updates now inside when we receive a new folder a new, I'm sorry receive a um, new uh, chain request chain for update the page now I'm going to do the prop and exactly function updates with uh, acumen equal page now let's see we, I'm going to close everything and Go into action of the pay. Now I'm going to make the console receiver redact action pay. Now uh, chain that's two bar okay. from builder. Oh my gosh, you the prop. And here is two bar. Two bar is nothing. Oh my god. It's a builder, it port. Oh my god, so I put problem here. It port default connect. Map states to prop. Map this part to prop. And again, it should be a builder. Okay, let's see. We got the builder. 
on chain uh, let's a pay builder okay all right I got problem I made me take now remove that now I'm going to see add row we can see you no know, reducer or receive reject action with the object uh, the pay argument from we see a new row item right here again now I'll clear this in the column uh, no column we didn't implement new column that no add row so again we see element should be uh, 13 should should be good now we got some action and we got back to reducer and make a new chain action reducer pay so I'm going to do case of this page uh, in web Storm, when I do automatically import from style it's a cool feature from and we return this we go into uh, you know this is an object initial state so uh, I'm not uh, this object is in the arrays so two way we can do this by which you can do by this by this this dot this dot state I'm sorry state and payloads let's do by cost payloads equal uh, slow that function get action payloads you know in we going to this pass payload so we get the payload equal exactly page parameter need to use a uh, load as import underscore from load as and here cost payload should be outside switch function we can do like this now this can be like this uh, cost new cost pay now up to update I name this uh, variable for you understand equal state dot put with the payload and here we are going to return exactly pay up state you do like that now let's see in our render we have a one two just two column now I'm going to click on add row column okay pay oh my god this should problem because you know we are not going to append new item pay we need to find the pay ID exactly ID and we update this but you can do like this by um, thing we need to do cause pay pay equal state so this is a default and all the pay now we need to do cost uh, an update exactly. We need to find and update exactly the ID. Pay with ID. So how we do by I think we do like this by uh Puts I cost new page. I uh, let's see. Let thinking a lot a, a bit. Um, we can do the first thing we need to do. Remove uh, a seating with the ID. But I can do by all page less page. Or, or we do like this by 
let's pay equal uh, states dot filter we are not going to p and we return p dot id is a not not equal uh, payloads it should be payloads dot id so now we remove the paved as it id and here we can do paste dot push uh, payloads and here we can do return uh, paste now let's see again add new row add new row this look nice doesn't happen this with paste payloads now we do not need do not don't do this now at row watching at row okay container plus Okay, then I'm going to look console. It should be paste. Now let's debug a bit in our container. So I after debug, I got problem. So we do this uh, exactly cool. So no problem, but you need because why we don't see any new row in the view render so problem e we got container plus and again new row and nothing happened because you know in the builder we connect to state but we don't connect to the page so i recommend to state dot page so now let's see i think it should work now again it should About page, uh, space, state dot page. This is all page. Now we may need to render uh, now we see that at new row we should see a new container comes up again at row row add row and again click on add row you see a new container with the row id uh, comes up again and again now this is work oh, cool okay now this i'm going to implement new uh, elements for on the builder and in the toolbar we do implement on the raw item so now we do need to implement to id so we do have a parent equal get uh, parent element uh, should be parent element and id so we give a default element is a new and again for Case column right. So the idea is new element should be tie equal column and ID sheet should be did auto ID same thing and we have the option may we may give default and parent same thing i'm going to copy this so my idea is when we click on the add new column outside of the builder so we are going to do is go automatically add new row first and then we add column oh yeah so here we do by and so I'm going to speed up handle handle 
Express Grow with parent element. So in this mean now I'm going to do this to handle as new element parent element. Cost and we return this like that new element equal so if we add a row we are going to this let's add the row first then add new column the idea is that so do I uh, cut row Row new row equal z dot handle create a new row. Uh, should be parent element, the parent element, and we got this new row. So in this case, we are not going to automatically general ID from a new element because the column will be inside this row so we go into do by new row dot id this should be that and we are going to default red policy the default column for example um i think the extra small it should be may have a three column item um so be four column and this will mean the three column per row okay so new element new element so in here we are going to do new page element pay elements and uh, put new row to element paste element I call paste element dot push a new row a new row first and then we element is automatically put in the ends okay now I'm going to do so we got some uh, text column highlight in the build, builder toolbar URL may do sit as List item our color is called blue pointer. Now let's see. Well, I see that it's much better. We have a okay, so now I'm going to keep our change uh, default. Now we may be padding. Uh, 3 pixel, 8 pixel, machine 0. Now let's see. Okay, cool. And we got display in light block. So keep them. Now here, now let's see in the HTML file, we got uh, default one call, one row, two row. Now I'm going to add row. We had a new item, the row, right? Come up here, but this is empty, empty column. And but what happened if I add new column? This should be automatically create a new row and then column. Create that, so we should see new row. Oh my god, add new column. But I don't see any, we only row. Now let's check that back to builder. We see time equal column new element. Going to do three element 
approach new element. Oh, why is then? Now I'm going to. You need to debug some. Where is why is a new column? It doesn't. Art element, right? Hey, element. That new column we receive a redirect option with element number tie equal column A. Oh my god, look like it's us. I draw item. We do have almonds is so up, but tie equal column, adjust more. Let's see, ID. Oh my gosh, I see the problem. You, the ID should be the dot automatically ID because the column, and now here. We need to do it should be the row new row. The parent should be new row dot id. Now I will f I think it should fix problem. Now as new row spare something. You should see some see that right here. Now I'm going to add new row right here. You should see that. Now I'm going to implement in. Uh, and uh, the page, you got the builder for where is the builder component page? You should the builder element. Now we got some column. I'm going to implement uh, min high, should be easy to see, should be 30 pixel. So now you see. Going to add new row, nothing, nothing. But add new column, we should see that again. Column, new column. That is how we just implement uh, add new element to the row. We can use a uh, um, API service and call back when in the action, when is action, we do a service and call to our server side and. Save the page with JSON, and we can get it later when the user reloads. Now, for now, if user reloads the page, the all the new element with the uh, is gone. It's not in save. You need to implement that to backend. Okay, new add row is so nothing. Now I'm going to do equal add some. For example, we can add some. Uh, sub, uh, I think it will be sub uh, element. For example, in the in the column, I'm going to add a new text like that. The first thing I uh, in the sidebar. Now I'm going to do try equal for example p tag uh, title add tag. Uh, now we should see our text right here. But in our text, now we do this case text break. Now I'm going to return new element should be equal tie equal uh, okay p and option and we have parent equal slow that function gets uh, parent element and ID the default snow take equal for now I'm going to keep take uh, for each sample sample text is that and here we should see now I'm going to add take uh, God. 
Where's my Eastern? Where? New container. Attach. Oh, Thai equal P. Oh my gosh, KP, not tech. Because we are going to add the Thai equal P. Now again, add tech, we sample tech, right? Just show up. Now, in the next video, I think we can do. Um, for allow user to click on it and new panel on the right side will comes up and we can edit the title uh, content or even we can edit directly right here by user content disable equal to HTML disable and we may need to implement the sub uh, element for example inside the column we allow add new row, new text, uh, new heading and okay so i will stop video right here and see you in the next part uh, thank you for watching